All right, so, uh, yikes. I bought the cheapest hub assembly I could buy on Amazon, and that was scary. We had a really close call uh, at about 60 miles an hour. So, long story short, we went camping up in the mountains and had a wheel bearing issue on the truck. So when I got back, uh, after all of that crap we went through, it was expensive to get everything done. It cost me several days of my vacation. The forest fire scared us out of the canyon. Uh, they closed the canyon on us, we had to evacuate. Trying to get the logistics of getting this truck back from way down in central Utah all the way back to Salt Lake City. Uh, back and forth, back and forth, finally got it here, got our trailer back, we had to leave the trailer down there. Anyway, it was a mess. All of that during the issue of having my wheel bearing fail on me. Anyway, I spent a whole bunch of money, a whole bunch of time uh, with that whole mess. By the time it got to fixing the truck, I tried to go the cheap route and that's now costing me more money. It cost me time stranded on the side of the road. Essentially what happened, uh, the cheapest part, I don't know where the part was manufactured. I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. I'm not blaming anybody. I take the responsibility on myself for not buying a quality part. But here's what happened. I believe there's a flaw in the metal that the wheel studs were made out of. Essentially I had one break off and before I could get around to replacing that, Again, just super busy, didn't take the time to actually do it. Should have, didn't. Uh, I lost the other four. I've only got five total on this because it's a 1500 truck. Five lugs, I lost one. I was still driving it. Big mistake, learn from my mistakes. Don't, don't do what I did. Lost the other four at 60 miles an hour uh, going down the highway. Very sketchy, very scary time. I had my wife and my daughter with me at the time. Uh, lots of screaming ensued. I was able to keep control of the vehicle and get it to the side of the road. By some miracle, the wheel stayed on the truck. Well, stayed under the truck. But here's what these things look like. Inside of this one right here, um, the shiny part is where it was rubbing on the back side of the wheel, and I'll show that in just a second, but that little uh, discolored portion right there by my fingertip is actually oxidation from inside the lug. So that one was clearly flawed. This is the one that broke off earlier, and you can see there's kind of some oxidation. And I, like I said, I should have fixed that immediately as soon as it happened. This one you can see flaws down the inside of, so I know that at least two, probably this one as well, which is why it broke. So three total were flawed. Two for sure, one most likely because it popped first. And then these two couldn't handle the weight of the wheel. So obviously they let go at about the same time. This is what the inside of my wheel looks like. I was riding on the brake rotor um, inside that wheel. Some, somehow this wheel stayed underneath my vehicle. Very crazy. This is all chewed up and eaten. I lost several of the weights that were balancing the wheel, so I've got to take this in and get it balanced. But the first thing I'm going to do is wash this, paint it black, just spray paint black on the inside of that just so that it's <laughs> so it's new again, right? Better than used, not quite new. That'll be this wheel. Basically, that's what I'm up against. I gotta get that done because I have to, another tire I'm taking in for my daughter. They're at a doctor's appointment for their new baby. So I told them I'd take that in and get a plug put in it because I have to go take this in anyway. The studs I'm replacing it with, wheel stud installer, uh, Amazon, and another big truck. Let's get busy.
So I'm just using a flat protective enamel from Rust-Oleum, flat black, because it's what I have on hand. So that's what I'm gonna use. Spray a couple coats of that, go with it. Better than used, not quite new. It's not perfect, but it's way better than it was. It's still drying from the last coat. But I gotta get this thing to the tire shop, get it rebalanced, lost several of the weights. So I'm gonna let this sit in the sun for a second while I clean up my tools, off to the tire shop. Well, now that it's three days later, uh, I used my tailgate as a workbench, saw horses, cutting some shelves for the basement. I got that project done. Today, we are focusing on vehicles. We're gonna fix the 99 Ram, get that back on the road. Let's get this road worthy one more time. All right, well, no idea if that was recording any of that or not, but I'm ready to put the brake calipers back, or brake, the brake caliper back on, but brake pads, basically doing a brake job. Uh, see those cracks in there? Those are stress cracks from uh, when the wheel popped all those lug nuts off. Um, definitely replacing the pads. They still have quite a bit of life left in them, but not worth risking it. Uh, you can actually see chunks of it missing and whatnot. The rotor itself is good, so I'm going to reuse that. Uh, but I got to get the caliper pressed back in, the piston pressed back in so that the new thicker pads will fit. And then throw this thing back together, do the brakes on the other side so that we're matchy matchy. And this should be fixed. Here's hoping. gonna go. Uh, thought I remembered that going flush, but maybe not. It's been quite a ways. We'll give it a go and see what happens. Got these at O'Reilly's. Ceramic. Not the most expensive ones they had, but like the second one down from the most expensive. They should be good. Uh, I do like the ceramic pads. They're quieter. They don't tend to squeak as much from my experience. Let go of my hand. I didn't even know this when I bought them, but they come with all the new bushings and rings to reseal the pins. So I might actually do that. These are getting a little old and worn. But I think I'm gonna just get after this. We'll pick back up once we get to the point of putting it all back together. Um, you guys have seen brake jobs before. You don't have to sit here and stare at me doing this. So I'll be back in a second. That is a beautiful thing. Got all the lug nuts on, new ceramic pads. Everything's all cleaned up, tightened up. I think we're good to go. Let's get this wheel put back on, brakes on the other side, take it for a spin and make sure. So, uh, oh, and here's one more thing. That bushing right there is completely shot. That explains some clunking I'm having when I hit like potholes and little bumps like that. So, question for you guys, 99 Ram, Gen 2, almost 300,000 miles, these are original control arms. Should I just replace the bushings, or should I replace the entire control arms? Kind of on a budget here, uh, so let me know in the comments down below what you would do. I'm leaning towards bushings only, but I don't know at this point. Let me know. All right.
right, finally got it all put back together. All the parts replaced, brake job on the front as well, both sides. Now it's time for the best part, and that's the test drive. This part never gets old. That's perfection. It is fixed. Be sure and like, subscribe, share, do all the things. It really helps me out. I really appreciate that. Also, be sure and follow me on Instagram at DIY Home and Auto. Uh, I post a lot more things than you see here on uh, on YouTube. It's a lot quicker to take a quick picture and post an update than it is to edit a video that sort of thing. So this is a little bit time consuming, but I'm back. More videos coming. Really appreciate your patience and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.